Charge all the things. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. You know you're a nerd when seeing this right here. It excites you. <laughs> well, what's going on, YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And I have some new products from Anchor and some not new products from Anchor. But we all have these things in our pockets, whether it be iPhone or Android. We have these in our pocket, and they need to be charged every day, even if you don't charge it every day. It's, 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 it needs to be charged. And one of the companies I've been using since well over a decade now is Anchor. And it's super exciting seeing them on Walmart shelves, and you can go pick them up and buy them if you want to instead of ordering them online and waiting for them to come. So a couple of these things I ordered myself. I ordered these little one-foot Powerline 3 USB-C to USB-C cables because uh, when I have a power bank in my pocket, like this guy right here, I don't want to have this long cable folded up in my pocket. I want to have a short cable so that my phone is charging and I have the you know least cable of in there. Anyways, these little guys are awesome. I ordered three, and this is one of them right here. It's a very nice, it's got like, it's hard to see on video maybe, but it's got like little textures, like lines in it. And I ordered two of these a while back, like a long time ago, and I lost one of them, but it's the same thing. I wish I could find my second one because I use it so much, and if I misplace one of them, I I don't have one. But this is a Type-C to Lightning, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So if you charge your phone with the charger that came with your box back when they came with your phone, you only have five volts at one amp. If you're using your phone and doing things, it's going to slow charge it so slowly that it, it's you're not even going to really notice it unless you're not using it and it's plugged in and you just wait a, a while, a long time. With these chargers, you're going to get so much faster, about three times at the least. So let's, let's dig in. I don't even know where to start. Um, I, I'm not going to unbox these because I'm waiting until I lose this little guy right here. Or I need to use more of them because these were all... Hey, hey kitty. Little demon kitty. Anyways, I got a notification that something was on sale from my wish list. And uh, yeah, it was half off. So I went ahead and ordered three of them. <laughs> I mean, it's dangerous when you give something for almost half off. That's just That's just dangerous. But anyways, this is a lightning cable. So this is USB to lightning. This is what you want if you have like an older iPad. The newer iPads are all USB-C now, thank God. Uh, but the older iPads, uh, and one, specifically one model of the new iPads, um, have lightning. So if you have a lightning, then you're going to need this. This guy right here. This, specifically, my daughter broke her cable. And so, ooh, they've gotten fancier with this, uh, like, holder thingy. Ooh, that's nice. That is a really nice, like, rubbery texture. Sorry, you gotta, you gotta go, though. So this is, what is the model number of this? Oh, okay, so it says soft. This is a very soft texture. But this is a six-foot USB-C to lightning. So this is awesome. My daughter's bed has a... It has a USB-C, like, I think 18 or 20 watt adapter, and so you plug this in, and you plug this in your phone, and you're going to get a very fast charge, a very fast charge, and I can demo that later in the in a little bit. So this guy right here is the different one. This one is if you have a newer iPad or an Android device or, like, a MacBook that uses Type-C or a Windows or Chromebook laptop that charges off a of Type-C. This is a six foot soft, this is very soft texture, but this is six foot, a hundred watts. So if you have a, I don't even have an Anchor 100 watt adapter, but this is the 45 watt Anchor charger, and this is a 45 watt Anchor charger here. I don't even have a 100 watt one. That's so cool though. So if you have a MacBook that charges at 100 watts or Chromebook or Windows or whatever device, you can charge it 100 watts full speed with this guy right here. That's incredible. My only other cable that was capable of doing that was much shorter than this one, so that's awesome. This is the same thing. This is the uh, soft USB-C to lighting. So we're going to go ahead and 
set that one for when we need it. And this is where things get a little exciting, uh, especially for me and anybody like me. These are anchor chargers that are completely destroy the chargers you currently are using right now. Okay, let's get started with uh, the anchor 511. So let's open this guy up. I'm going to have links to everything you see in the description below. Just some booklets. And then the little cute charger. I've got so many. I've got like three or four of these now. And like I have one at work in case I need to charge my phone. We got a new car and it has a uh, outlet built into it. And so I've got a 20 watt one of these in there. So that instead of using the USB A to type C or USB A to lightning, I'm able to use type C 20 watts to lightning or, or type C. So this is the Anchor Nano Pro. It's capable of doing five volts at three amps or nine volts at 2.22 amps. So you just plug this into the wall, you plug in your type C cable, and you plug this into your phone, and now you're getting a very fast charge. All right, we're getting into the even more exciting stuff here. Let's open this guy up. This is the Anchor A511. So it's specifically it's model number A2637. And this guy is A2637. So these this is going to be the same thing. So I'll have one of these on my daughter's bed. And I'll have one of these on my by my nightstand. And last but not least, this is definitely the star of the show. This guy right here. This is the Anchor 521. Specifically the A2038. It is the Nano Pro. And the box is bigger than all the other boxes that you see on the table. Why is that? I'll show you why. It's got two. As someone who carries a Pixel 6 Pro and an iPhone 12 Pro Max in my pocket and uses this for one phone and this for the other phone, I can now just use this, and that's exciting. This is going to be my new charger for my two daily carries. Let's go over the uh, specs here. Hopefully you can make out all that data. There's a whole lot of numbers and things going on there. Trying to get it focused and be able to read it through my camera, that is difficult. So I'm gonna go ahead and just let you pause that and read it for yourself. All right, so if there's one thing you can count on with my daughter's phone, it's gonna have a low battery because <laughs> she uses it like a ton. So if the iPhone 14 has a USB-C to USB-C, we will definitely be upgrading her phone. So let's go ahead and use that new USB-C to lightning cable. Let's use the one that she's gonna actually be using. This guy right here. All right, so this is not the most scientific data in the world. These are watt measuring tools that show you how much wattage is going to something. And there's a little bit of loss between the AC like conversion to your, make it work with your phone. Anyways, we are going to uh, connect that thing here. All right, and we're gonna plug this into the bottom of her. Uh, this is the iPhone SE 2020 edition, the, the newer one. And we're gonna see what this little guy is capable of. Uh, her phone is at 20%. It was even lower than that, but she was charging it in her room since she broke her last anchor cable. <laughs> uh, we have been using a short one. So now she has a long one. And hopefully she doesn't break this one as easily. So while that's charging up, let's use these two guys because they're so short and so little. We're going to connect one to the top port and one to the bottom port. And one of these is a lightning and one of these is type C. We're going to plug it into this right one here. I told you this wasn't the most scientific data. It's all right. <laughs> let's skip to plugging in both of the phones. This one's at 55%, so it's not going to be charging like stupid fast. Uh, I've seen it go to like 27 watts before. So it goes into like a low and then it kicks it up to like a high gear <laughs> if you want to compare it to a car. All right, now we'll go ahead and plug it into our Pixel 6 Pro that is at 47%. So the lower the battery in your phone, the faster it's going to charge. So we should see this thing ramp up to like, yep, closer to 40 watts because it's charging both of these phones at about 20 watts each. So this is exciting. I'm going to be able to charge both of my phones up with one little adapter here instead of having two of them. That's that's exciting. Thank you so much, Anchor, for sending these out to me. And on the left here with her phone, 
I'm just curious about this guy. This is a 45 Wyatt. This is one that I purchased with my own money. So it ramps it down or it lowers it and then it's going to ramp it up. So, okay. Both of them are looking at about the same. So here, that's the thing. If you spend extra money to get a 45 Wyatt, you've got the benefit of being able to charge up like a Chromebook. Mine uses like 43, 44 Watts. Um, if you have a, higher wattage device pick up the 60 watt version of this guy but if you don't need it to charge like a chromebook or a laptop or something you can get away with just getting a little 20 watt guy because while yes this phone can do 25 27 watts 20 watts is better than 5 watts so <laughs> and you're saving a whole bunch of money look at like how neat and contained this is so let's get this all in one shot here let me zoom out there we go see we just got the two little short cables and then we've got our dual charger that's going at its uh rated speeds here that's just that's look that's why these cables the short cables are so great unlike you know when you need it to be close to something and you got all this but this is great for my daughter because at her bed she'll be able to have it charging way over there and then it'll reach so long is good sometimes but not all the time this is my old anchor charger here qualcomm usb a to you know micro or whatever you need to use it for if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, thank you so much, Anchor, for hooking me up with such amazing tools to empower myself and my daughter and our family and millions of other people through your amazing products. Again, everything will be linked down below if you want to purchase just one thing or one cable. Thank you for watching. This is what Josh do, and I'm out. Go ahead. And then you can just drop them. Charge all the things. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. <Yeah. laughs>